Football season's flying. It's week 12 already, and Thanksgiving games are coming up this Thursday. We got three good games coming up, Houston and Detroit at 12.30. Then we got Dallas and Washington, the classic Thanksgiving battle at 4.30. And then a great one on Thanksgiving night at 8.20, the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Baltimore Ravens. So right here, this is going to be the quarterback rankings going into Thanksgiving. So the first quarterback I'm going to put on the top of the list this week for Thanksgiving's Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson, he's really been having a great season. And like I've been saying in all my videos, ever since Bill O'Brien got shown the door by Texans ownership, Deshaun Watson, he's been free and he's been ready to go. And he's been throwing the ball all over the field. He's making plays with his legs. Last week, we saw an amazing play where he ran over a defender to get into the end zone. So Deshaun Watson, he's the number one guy this week at quarterback for these Thanksgiving games and I can expect a big game out of him versus a weak Detroit team that made P.J. Walker look pretty good in this one. So I think Watson, he could go for 300 yards and three touchdowns easily and it wouldn't surprise me if he has anywhere from 28 to 40 fantasy points. The second quarterback I'm going to rank on these Thanksgiving games, Ben Roethlisberger, the Pittsburgh Steelers. The last few weeks, he's had some very plus matchups and he's taken advantage of it. Is Ben Roethlisberger with going over 30 fantasy points in each of those games and now this week he's got a tougher matchup versus the Baltimore Ravens but a few weeks ago Ben Roethlisberger he had a pretty good game versus Baltimore this week Pittsburgh's at home on this Thursday night ball game but I think Big Ben he's gonna get the guys open he's gonna get it out there his receivers are amazing the three guys he's got in Chase Claypool Juju Smith-Schuster and Deontay Johnson but the thing is, Juju Smith-Schuster, he got banged up to the sidelines at the end of that game versus Jacksonville. So we don't know his status for sure heading into Thanksgiving. But I like Ben's outlook. I still think he could get you anywhere from 25 to 30 fantasy points, even versus a tough Baltimore D. We just saw Tannehill have a pretty good game versus him. He's a big man. I'm starting him with confidence. He's got the weapons. His team's undefeated. And he's going to want to make a statement here on Thanksgiving versus a division rival and wrap up that division. So I like Ben in number two. The third, guy, the third guy I like in these games is Lamar Jackson of the Baltimore Ravens. I know Jackson's been a huge disappointment in fantasy football where you drafted him. And the Ravens, they haven't won a huge game at all this season as well. Jackson teams, they're forcing him to throw. And they, the team, the league, they're caught up to him, in my opinion. Jackson, they're bringing a spy or two on him. He's running, but he's not breaking loose for those highlight and crazy long gains like he did last season Is in his MVP season. So right now, Jackson's a one-trick pony. He's not throwing the ball that great. He don't have great accuracy. And teams are, like I said, forcing him to throw. And they'll give him the few 5- to 10-yard runs, but they're bottling him up. His receivers, they're not good at all. Willie Sneed, Hollywood Brown, who's non-existent, and Des Bryant, he even got on the active roster, and he had four catches for 28 yards. But Lamar Jackson, I still got him as the third. The other guys, they're just not as good. Jackson, he still has great potential to have a 40-point fantasy day, but I just don't see it. Versus the Steelers, he had four turnovers in their last meeting a few weeks ago. So Lamar Jackson, I'm going to rank him third here. I could see him only getting anywhere from 15 to 25 fantasy points. That seems like his fantasy range for most of the season. He's only cracked 30 fantasy points twice the whole year, but I got him ranked third. Number four, Matthew Stafford versus the Houston Texans. Stafford, he's been banged up last week in Carolina. It was just a nightmare for Stafford and the Lions. He didn't do anything. He had 200 yards, I believe, total with no touchdowns and nothing. So Matthew Stafford, he's a guy I said I would drop. But if you're in a two-quarterback league, you got no choice but to start him. And he's got a decent matchup here with Stafford. He's just up and down. One week, he could give you 30. The next week, he could give you 9. But this week versus Houston, I think he could give you 20 to 22 fantasy points. This Texan defense, they get shredded by passes and runners. And this week, hopefully, Kenny Galladay and DeAndre Swift come back here for Matthew Stafford and the Lions. We'll see, but I got him ranked fourth. Number five is Andy Dalton of the Dallas Cowboys. It was a tough few weeks for Dalton with the concussion 
and then he got the virus, but he came back with a vengeance here in week 11 with a great game versus the Minnesota Vikings. 27 fantasy points with 230 yards and three touchdowns. And then in Dalton, he looked comfortable. Dallas made adjustments on the offensive line, and he had plenty of time. It was a great game versus Minnesota that Dallas won and shocked a lot of people, including myself. Like Zeke Elliott, he got going with his first 100-yard game of the season on the ground and also catching a receiving touchdown. And then Amari Cooper, he had a good game. C.D. Lamb, an amazing catch. Schultz with a touchdown. And this week they versus Washington, which is a pretty decent defense. But I just think Dalton, he's getting comfortable. He's knowing the playbook more. And the line made the adjustments they needed. And let's be honest, Dallas is 3-7. and seven, But they're still in the playoff hunt in this pathetic division called the NFC East this season. So Andy Dalton, I could see him having a decent game this week with 250 yards and two touchdowns in this one versus Washington. Because this is like a playoff game. Both these teams fighting for first, like I said. It's a Thanksgiving game. It's going to be a physical battle. They're going to try to go up and down the field. Dallas should have the same type of game plan like they did versus Minnesota. So I like Dalton as the fifth quarterback. And the sixth and final guy, obviously, is Alex Smith here on the Thanksgiving game. Smith here, he's not going to put up great numbers. He's a decent guy in two quarterback leagues. And he's got a decent matchup versus the Dallas Cowboys, who quarterbacks have big games against. And we saw Kirk Cousins have a huge game versus the Cowboys here in Week 11. But week 12, it's Alex Smith and the Washington football team coming to town. We'll see what he can do. He's got Terry McLaurin, McKissick, and Logan Thomas, who I like this week as well. But Smith, he's going to be the rank, six-ranked quarterback, and I think he'll have 20 points in this one. Dallas, their defense has improved a little, believe it or not. They could go anywhere but down from here, just how bad they were. But still, I think McLaren, he's going to have a matchup problems. He's going to be the Cowboy defense, and he's going to help Smith's numbers. But Alex Smith, I got as the sixth-ranked quarterback. So that's the quarterback rankings heading into the Thanksgiving games on Thursday.